Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome back to Plus Game Playthrough. Um, yeah, I'm gonna skip most of the cutscenes, blast through things. Most of it's just gonna be me talking and such like that. Seriously, get a ladder and go over there. But pretty much once I get up to Mantra, everything's going to be a joke. Uh, there's really no boss that can stand before me at all. So. I mean, obviously I will need to equip some things to... Yeah, I don't care. Uh... in order to make some boss weakness battles go a little faster. Um, because there are some parts that take a little bit too long if you just blast them with, you know, high level spells. Similar to the last boss, but, I mean, whatever. I still have the other combo going on. Actually, the biggest difficulty in this is... Uh, getting enough hit points or otherwise in order to be able to uh, cast high level spells like that. Hey, our first blue wall. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back for all those too and kill Belizebub again and I mean Belizebub will be an absolute goddamn joke this time. But instead of uh you know, really going crazy the first time through. I'm probably going to go a little bit uh, faster through the entire game and then just go back and collect all the items and such later. Because most of them really aren't going to help you too much. It's not going to be, like, crazy helpful. I say as I go farm two items that I don't even really need. And I think I start mantras after I talk to Harley. Because I think after the conversation with Harley, you can move around your stuff. But you can't buy mantras until much later. Like, the mantra option won't even be available in here. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that. Do 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 before battle start, let's go ahead and grab this. And I think there will still be some tutorial stuff. But oh yeah, I need to config real quick. Yeah, that needs to go off. And Surf will probably be getting mostly strength and agility until they're maxed. Because both of those are a pain in the ass to get. I don't really care about the cutscenes. You want to watch the cutscenes, go back to the beginning. Ah, look at how much I suck. his magic a little, but strength will be the most helpful. Oh, sweet. I'm probably going to put his magic up to like 20 or so. What's happening to us? We're becoming awesome. Way. 
Alright, that's... I think the loop. Put that wall down. He'll run away. Ah, I don't remember all this. I know the Alp in some other games. Uh, can I set now? Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's... Yeah, this is the skill I was inferring in the last game. Yeah, you can set the battles in human form. Oimarikanes become a piece of cake, because you can actually get that. Um, let's go ahead and null attack. Where is it? There it is. And... Autosoma. Where is Autosoma? Autosoma. Alright, and that leaves us two, two extra skills. So, I have 20 is the max I can do. Yeah, I mean, I could do that. That'll make the, last, the boss really easy. But I don't know whether that or one of the Bufus makes more sense. 32. Ah, yeah, there we go. Frick you, frickin' boofoo. Um, yeah, I don't really need much else. I can't even cast that. Uh, let's do Magic Point Thief. Because I'm sneaky. Alright, yeah, you don't have any resists, which we'll need to work on. Ah, what the hell was that? Oh, a child playing in the street, apparently. Way to go, parenting. Oh, he doesn't have autosoma, so that's probably not a good idea. But, whatever. Uh, actually, where are we? And you, which are beautiful. Not because of your awesome pink hair, but because you have null attack and autosoma. Jesus, phone blowing up. Um, and let's give you Bufudine. And Medea. Actually, you know what? Let's just give you Magic Point Thief as well. Oh, actually, to make it funnier. You can keep the Miragi. How about you get Media? This Bufudine's not gonna help that much. Nope, not that way. This is not the way. Um. Stupid little ghost turkeys. Alright, hold on. I have to answer this. Deciding on what's for dinner. Let's see how this works. Oh, that certainly killed her. Almost. See a therapist. You dirty little pepper. 
Oh, that was hard. Um, let's put that at five for a moment. Nice. All I really want is heat out of the party as quick as possible. God, this boss is going to be pathetic. Probably should have gotten a fire spell. There we go. Those kids are so loud outside. They're playing in the street. I honestly, I don't mean to sound terrible, but why do Indian people love walking in the middle of the street. Like, not even giving a fuck about cars or traffic or anything. Alright. Now I think you just need to put up the wall, which you get to by going up here. Stairs, and then you, you really don't even have to map out the rest. Let's attack you. Now I'm regretting not giving heat auto soma, because it would make this part so much easier. Yeah, that's the wall I need to put up. Go away. As much as I love the cockatrice, not the cock, the actual cockatrice monster. Um, I don't really like them in this because they look like giant chickens. Alright, then we just go upstairs and then you'll see Harley run across them. Really? You missed heat? Whatever. Let's just let it do its thing. Well, actually... Stupid Praetus. I hate Praetus. The only reason I really hate them is because in an earlier game I got killed by one of them. Not in Digital Devil Saga, mind you, but... In, I think, Nocturne? I got wiped by, like, five Praetus.
how the sound those little guys make is terrible. It probably sounds worse on my headphones than it actually is. Um... I might also put this block up. Alright, okay, good. I don't really feel like chasing Harley around for an hour. Or more. And then we just go back. Wish there was just a ladder there. I don't know, my magic strength really won't matter much in the beginning. Um, once I can get like better skills and such, it won't be a problem. And grinding is going to be like a dream. But I think around 20 is when your uh, magic points really get damn strong. Uh, I think you have about 100 magic points by then. That's also a fair amount of way. No, maybe it's only at like 70 or so. But. Boss, I don't even think it will hurt me. Let's just make this go a little faster. I really hate using it this early. But... Good. <laughs> Stupid Praetos. I actually find it a lot harder to go through the beginning in the plus game. Not because the monsters are harder, but because you're used to a certain response to random encounters. So it's kind of confusing when you can't just instantly kill them. That was lucky. Yeah, you keep running, Harley. I do kind of wish for the uh, um, plus game, you at least got to keep, like, if you beat a boss, you got to keep their extra thing. Let's just save here. I can start overriding the old stuff. And I get the snazzy yellow extra. Stay away! Alright, let's just wreck his day. As mad as
Oh, really? You have a girl's belly in your weird... Zebra, I don't know, whatever you're doing with that thing. Oh, good, he puts magic up one. Alright, we know, we all know what happens there. And then we leave. What do you have to say, Hooker? I don't remember if I talked to that girl last time. I don't think I did. Back to base. Yeah, other than some of the puzzle parts, this is probably going to be pretty damn short. But really, most of the game is the actual... Uh, I don't care. Is the actual, uh, like, story parts, and the grinding, and the building up your characters. I know that if you try to skip a cutscene that has a choice, it will automatically take you to the part where you have to make a choice. Uh, so that way you're not, like, screwed out of choices. Wait, what? I'm supposed to go to the Karma Temple now, aren't I? Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I never remember the order in which things usually happen. Uh, I have to say, playing through it, I'm actually kind of happy I finished Digital Devil Saga for an LP and didn't have nearly as many screw-ups. I mean, I still haven't died. So I might choose an actual thing to die just to show you extras, bits and bobs and whatnot. Um, or I'll just save it for what the boss will do to me. Because the boss will rape me. The super boss. So you might have to wait to see the ending until then, because I'm probably going to have like four videos beating him, and probably half of them will be fails. Because he will just annihilate me. I do like how it kind of floats. Like it's in a huge crater, so you can't like attack it except via the bridge. I don't really need to talk to anybody. I think your dialogue options with talking to people are open either way. Um, so it's not like it blocks you. Because there's extra stuff in Digital Double Saga 2. Either way, if I have to play through it a third time off camera, I will. I'm going to mark down where... Uh they are, so that way I can just get them done, like, where and when. I do like this opening scene.
But I do like how now watching through it again, you understand why Colonel Beck was like. Everyone is present. Rrr. Why have we been summoned, dissemination machine? No answer to your query is available. There are no pertinent issues to be addressed at this time. I do not understand this. The temple summoned. I summoned you. Aside from our new power, nothing has changed. Incorrect. There is one addendum. The black-haired girl. One tribe will conquer this purgatory and seize the black-haired girl. Nirvana shall open its gates to this tribe alone. Alright. I'm going to end the episode here. And I have to look up the right decisions. I believe it's what's the girl's name. But we'll see in the next episode of Let's Play Digital Devil Saga with me, Morak Dice. See you later. <laughs>